up troops, welcome back to the Latana army, I'm Lit and this is Fortnite Save the World PvE. And if you've been keeping up with the channel, you know this was all we really built in my base at the start. Uh, I've just arrived in Canyon Valley and this is what we'd actually built to fend the horde that we'd got, or the husks that were coming from all these areas and out of the storm shield from this side. But we have since added to that and I want to show you guys around the base and let you know just how we've got on since then. So stay tuned and let me show you guys around. Okay, so as you can see from inside then, we've definitely gone for a Gumby inspired kind of base look with the launchers and the traps. If you, you know, if you know Sly Gumby's set up, you'll, you'll have seen this kind of thing before. So I've got that on the outer edges, and if you look, the centre is kind of made very much the same. I've got these up here, look, to kind of push the husks up the top. Joe, then they fall down here, then the launcher pushes them back over. So you shouldn't get any massive waves, and the smashers haven't got any massive set ways to attack. Maybe I need something on here to defend, but I'm hoping the husks are going to go around and kind of try and get close to the base by going this way. Don't just know yet. There's more traps and more things to add yet. So let me just go around. You know what? Let's get the let's get the hoverboard on. So you can see that I've got a wooden roof, but there is a reason for that. So let's go around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we've got this here, look, so husks that come up this side, you know, so they're going to come up and they're going to go straight into a kill tunnel there, look. So one, two, three, four traps that they've got on there, five, six, and then so far seven, and they'll also be in hit by this for three tiles. So that should slow them down as well, and I'm hoping they're going to come through this way. Now they might just start attacking this wall perhaps, maybe, I don't know, but we have got a vantage point here where we can shoot from, and you've got all the tunnel to shoot from as well. They might try and get in closer here, and we've got the launcher. Also good. I need to do a video on, like, husk paths, uh, or something along those lines. But also, again, if they come from this side... So let's go down the other side as well. I love these little, like, tornado things, what they've got going on. So anyway, let's say the husks come up this side. We've got all these little gas traps to, like, thin them out as they get up to the top. And then the same again on that side. If they come across from the other way... Then they've got even more tunnels to get through as well, where they're going to have to come through and do it that way. But the crown jewel at the minute in this base, let me just show you by jumping over here. Check those out. We've got three llamas so far. We've got one that's being built at the minute. Or maybe we're going to build a castle there. I don't just know yet. Maybe some sort of defense tower. Uh, I'm not just sure just yet. <laughs> There's no point to the llamas, you know, but I just think they look like super cool at the moment. So we're going to keep those on there as well. Now, let's say we get an attack from this side. We've got more kill tunnels here, so what we're hoping is that they're going to come up this way. Do you know, they're going to come up this way. With thing, and there's also is there a ramp here. Yeah, a ramp here as well. So they're going to come up through here. I'm going to probably let them through on this one. So do you know what? Let's just, let's just let them through here. There we go. So we actually want the traps to do the work. So they're going to come up here and then they're going to filter up this way onto more traps as well. You know, and then they're going to try and get in here. So we'll put more traps up here as the time light moves on. Let's go and check this one. See if we can go inside the actual llama itself. Oh, here it is. Look, so there's some steps here and you can actually just make your way up the llama this way. If you learn to jump unlike I'm doing right now. What the hell am I doing? There we go. So you can actually go inside the llama and you can make your way up. And it's a fully customizable thing that we've got. Look, we're on the back end here. It's on the llama's bot right now. And if you want to do like the sniper thing, you know, like with Ted Shot Jess, you can actually just snipe from here and you've got an excellent vantage point there of everything coming up, if that's your thing. So let's go and look at what this little thing is over here because this is like our work in progress at the moment. So let's go and check. Now this is going to be the racetrack that we've got. We've kind of gone for a Mad Max feel. If you look along the top, we'd like the girders. Now hopefully, this will not kill me when I try and go into the uh, when I try and go on the boost pads. <laughs> well, let's go and check. All right, I might not survive this, but let's try it out anyway. All right, here we go. <laughs> so there we go. That's what that is going to be. Now I'm going to have to turn. It. I'm going to have to actually turn the uh, hoverboard off for this little bit because. It's not finished up here and it will result in certain death. So if we go on here. So this is going to be the spectator view. What I'm hoping to do is do some videos where we actually get races going on as well. So this is the starting line here, look. And then this will be to boost you off. So you'll actually start off going around here. You can see why I've not left the hoverboard on right now. <laughs> and then what this will do is go right around the edge of the storm shield. 
like all the way around and back to the finish line. And what I was hoping we could do is get some timers on and maybe we could do some, um, you know, like I could do prizes and things like that so people can actually win. So the subs can actually join the channel. You know, you guys watch these videos all the time, but you can actually join the channel, do a race at my base in Canny. Race at Latana's base, I don't know, maybe we could call it that. And then, what we could do is maybe give away some legendaries, some epics and things like that. Maybe even some V-Bucks, I don't know how we would do that, but maybe we could do something along those lines where we give away some cool stuff once we've got this finished. So that is something that we're working on for the future. So I kind of want this to be an interactive base as well, so you guys can get involved. And obviously it needs to serve a purpose, which is to, uh, you know, be my base defense against the zombies. But also it's going to be a place where we can all interact and hang out and just do scots some cool stuff in save the world as well so let's just jump back down to the center again yeah okay and let's get back in the middle so if we just go up this way up the gumby ramps that's what i'm going to name them i'm going to call them gumby ramps and if we have a look around here like i said you've got a really good defense here you can get to everything do you know everything that you need to get to maybe i could put some healing pads down in here you know, maybe that could be a thing. But you've got pretty much everything that you need. Let's put a door on there. So we can actually get in. There we are. And then, then we can do the storage on here. A massive, massive... You know, the actual llamas themselves. I didn't build these llamas. These these llamas themselves were built by Joseph, who you see a lot. You know, Joseph and Mr. Boots are on loads of my videos. But they've actually done these for me and made them look as awesome as what they do. So that is pretty much everything covered so far. As I said, we've got this one being built at the moment. This is going to be like a castle or something we're going to make for extra vantage points. Maybe it's going to be a platform uh, for the track to go around. I don't know just yet. I don't know if we're just going to do a straight oval track or if we're going to make it so that it goes, uh, you know, a bit of a course or something with jumps on it maybe. Maybe that could be a cool thing. Just to like slow people down or make it a little bit more difficult. But it could be really cool, as I said. So I'm really looking forward to that. And it could be something that, um, as I said, we can host on the channel more than often. But guys, if you've got any tips for the base, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your ideas for this. This is as much my base. I want to make Canyon Valley as much my base as it is yours. Um, it's got to be functional, so which is why we've got the trap tunnels uh, and why we've got the vantage points and why we've got things to fend off the husks. But overall, guys, like I said, I want this to be like a bit of a social area where we can just do cool stuff together. So make sure you let me know in the comments down below any ideas that you guys have got. And a massive, massive thanks for watching. Don't forget to to drop me a like as you leave and I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching guys.